What's up guys, my name is Fyro, welcome back to the channel. So today guys, we're going to be going over an XP farm method that you guys can use to get max level extremely quick in the new season, season 2, chapter 2 of Fortnite. Now this method takes no skill at all, you don't have to be good at the game, it doesn't require getting wins. Obviously getting wins can help you because it will get you some XP in the long run as well as eliminations, but those don't really go that far of a way. We're going to be going over a XP farm method. Now I do have to give credit to Avery in this video because um, it is based off of the method that he used in his video. Um, but I changed it up just a little tiny bit, added like an extra little looting route that you actually go um, at the end of it, as well as I don't go like the same paths as he does. He goes like a certain pathway. Uh, I kind of change up his path a little bit. So. We're going to be going over that method in this video, so if you guys do enjoy, please make sure to drop a like. And if you guys are excited about the new update that just came out today, let me know in the comments what you guys think about it. Anyways, guys, let's go ahead and get straight into this video. Okay, so you can either follow my route if you want to, or you can kind of freestyle. That's kind of what I was doing in this clip. I was freestyling as I went along because I didn't really memorize Avery's route, only the first couple of bits. Um, that's why it's kind of changed up. That's why I said it's changed up at the beginning. Um, now, actually, after this clip, um, after I'm done showing you the route in a real game, we're going to hop into a battleground game where I can actually show you uh, like a more in-depth um, of where to go and like all the henchman spawns and all of the camera spawn locations so you won't get you know shot by the turrets and how to deal with them as well and you know the chest spawn locations basically the route um, that i'm doing here but in playground mode that way you guys can actually see see it and i will point out where everything is so you will know everything in depth because in this i actually didn't end up getting um all the chests because the storm actually ended ended up screwing me over but then i also after that i will show where to where you can loot while you are you know going to circle if you're at a circle or you know just after you're fully done looting this place um you know where to go next to loot and continue getting xp so as you can see from the footage you know this is the things you want to do first land in a little hole get a gun uh, maybe some shield it will help because these henchmen do hurt make sure you break that turret and then uh that way it doesn't screw you over and then go ahead and you know, I had to heal up because I was actually getting damaged a lot um, in this game. It wasn't the best um, footage for gameplay, but yeah. And then I'm going to run back over here to actually show you guys that there is a chest spawn location here. I assumed it was already looted um, from that guy that I fought at the beginning. So that's why I didn't go to it originally, but I forgot how I was filming a video. So I went back just to show where that chest spawn location was. Um, I ended up finding the boss in here. Um, the boss can actually be pretty scary, so I used this door right hand peek kind of as my advantage. And then I ended up getting shot from behind. You do have to be careful because this is probably the hardest one out of all of them, in my opinion, because they have mini guns and mini guns laser, and they're just super, super annoying because they just never stop shooting at you. Like, you can see this guy shooting at me, and he can't even see me. Like, this is probably just one of the most annoying dungeons, but if you learn, you know, your way around it, you kind of know how to avoid it. Um, so um, after you go ahead and get the key card, um, the boss can spawn there, but it can also spawn in multiple different locations. Uh, make sure you block that turret off with a cone. Uh, as you see, I almost ended up dying here. Don't do that. You don't want to die. Um, if there is people here, then just try to get as much as you can. Um, and then don't stress it. You know, if you do get mad at the game, um, it will make you, you know, not want to farm XP. If you do lose, you know, just just breathe a couple times, take a deep breath, and then go ahead and try again. It happens. Sometimes people will land here. Sometimes they won't. Sometimes you will die by the bots. You just gotta, you know, if you really want to farm XP, you just gotta keep yourself maintained to be able to actually farm the XP. Because from personal experience, I can tell you that if you do, you know, get mad at the game, um, if you start dying a lot at the beginning or to BS reasons, then it will make you, you know, more stressed out. So that is my tip. Just try your absolute best. Don't get mad. If you, if you die, just take a couple breaths and then be like all right gg you know just positive thoughts only and it will actually help you out a lot trust me so go ahead and open the vault while you go ahead and open the chest and destroy the turrets that's a personal thing you don't have to destroy the turrets the vault is actually not that good you only get xp from the ammo boxes and supply drop um you will get some xp from the chests in there if you get like a, a survival badge upgraded or what is it, a scavenger badge upgraded uh for opening a certain amount of chests or something like that um so if you do get that in there that's kind of the only way to get xp from those like crates in there um but yeah so then we go uh, moving on to outside there can be a guy up top right there just kind of try to avoid him he's kind of annoying 
um, because they can just see you through walls and detect you. Uh, make sure to not finish this guy. You want to go ahead and walk over here and then scan him on the box. You want to make sure you do scan them. Don't use a disguise because basically it will give you more XP as you can see. Make sure you are getting the finishes because if they do get revived, you also don't get the plus 80 XP from eliminating the henchman. Now, I actually started this clip where I was actually getting um, the double XP or supercharged, whatever it's called. So I was getting more XP this day. Um, but yeah, it was, it did wear off in the same clip eventually. All right, so cutting into the Playground or Battle Lab gameplay, just so we can go to an in-depth um, tutorial. So first, what you want to do is walk through the door here, shoot the turret, because otherwise it will shoot back. Um, a henchman can either spawn here, or if you can come around the corner right here, it will be either there or there. Um, once you go ahead and kill it, be careful because there is a turret. Um, so go ahead and shake down that enemy and then loot the chest you know that is where the chest is where i just zoomed in and then there can also be a chest right here the normal chest go ahead and loot that as well so then keep in mind that turret can still be up here on this wall so what the best thing to do is to just go ahead and destroy it right here um, that way you can get in as well as destroy the turret so it doesn't bother you there can be enemies up here i find them to be really annoying so the best way to deal with them is to just place two ramps like so so then after that you can you know shield up do whatever you need to do and then come down here to where the turret is right here and block it off with a cone that way it will not shoot you when you're opening the safe or won't shoot you in general there will be about two to three henchmen up here sometimes there will be one down the hallway so be careful for that guy um, usually he will try to res and then there will be a camera or you know uh, shooting thing whatever you want to call it up there so be careful for that once you knock the henchmen, shake them like always, and then carry him down to this area where there will also be a face scanner chest. After you do that, you want to walk in here. There could be a henchman. Midas could also be here, or it's not Midas. I, I don't remember the boss's name, but the boss will be there, and there'll also be a camera on the wall. Make sure you destroy it. Bring whoever is there, um, one of the henchmen, or if the boss is there, bring him to the area right there where I just shot, and you can get another face scanner chest after you do that if you do have the key card go ahead and open the safe and that will give you around 210 xp about 500 with the supercharged and while the safe is opening go ahead and run down here open this chest here which will give you another 130 xp and then you can take the time if you want to go ahead and shoot some of the guys out here there will be a guy around that area and then sometimes you can see some of them that are over there at that angle um, you don't have to kill them because if you don't go out there and finish them or shake them um, they can actually get revived um, because you don't go to that area yet you go to that area a little bit later come in here and destroy the drones just so they don't mess with you uh, whenever you go outside in the little outside area later on that way the drone doesn't just come over there and shoot you so now you can go ahead and go back up through this area and go into the vault i couldn't actually show that because i am in playground go ahead and go into the vault loot your chests or whatever come in here there can be a guy right here so make sure you kill him shake him and then you can actually finish him because there will be a guy down there um you know shake him and do not finish him bring him to the chest spawn location which will be right here scan him and get your xp now just like you saw in the other clips there can be some people over there so make sure you kill them as well and since we did turn off the power you don't got to worry about that drone that would be to your right so after you go ahead and do that that is usually all i ab about get to do before the storm will either push me out or if there is somebody here usually all the other areas are looted but if they are not looted or that you are still in circle you can go ahead come over here and get this chest just a simple 130 xp from that chest and then you can go ahead and come over here to this little um, building. Uh, I actually have not personally looted this building in a real game, so I don't know if there's a face scanner thing in there or not. I do know there can be a henchman over that er in that area. So I don't know if there's actually a chest in here or not. I do know there's an ammo box, but there might be a chest right there because I've actually never gotten that far in a game yet. But um, yeah, so I don't really remember if there is one of the face scanner chests there or not. I do know there is a face scanner chest right here so um, go ahead and bring henchmen over there and scan them up after you go ahead and do that you can run back over here there might be a henchman on your left so be careful for that 
um, and then you can go ahead and search the ammo box here um, if it spawns it's not ammo boxes are 100 spawn rate like chests are but chests are 100 spawn rate there will be a disguise booth here in case you are low and you really do need to use it but there will be a henchman in one of the two places that i just shot go ahead and kill him and then get the chest also where i just shot the face scanner chest walk up in this area and go ahead and shoot that up there go ahead and use the porta potty and the vault to go ahead and come out of that hay bale and start running up here and you will find this little area here um, there is a name for it i don't remember it but yeah you can go ahead and come up to this area here walk inside this little shed here and loot the chest and ammo box which will give you around you know 130 xp plus 95 xp so you get an easy over 200 xp just from that one little building now you can either build or swim over here i just built just because i'm in playgrounds it didn't really matter um walk over here and loot this chest and then go and go look to your right there might be an ammo box there go ahead and loot it as well after that you can go ahead and walk over to the dock there is an ammo box to your left um, i loot that afterwards it depends if circle is coming or not if circle is coming i'll loot the ammo box in here if there was is one here and i'll go ahead and run that way or wherever i need to run to go to circle but if i'm not in a rush i'm still in zone then i'll go ahead and loot this ammo box and then you go ahead and go over to this area here and i'm pretty sure there can be an ammo box in this building i'm not 100 percent sure i also have not looted this building yet myself personally oh well i probably have but i just don't remember so uh, after you do that go ahead and loot this yellow building here uh, i'm not gonna you know show the footage of that just because i don't want to keep you guys here for so long and it's kind of just self-explanatory loot that building here so after you're done looting this building go ahead and start walking down the road once you're past the bridge uh, you can loot a chest in one of the buses on the bridge and then you can come over here to this little area where the taco truck is and the two porta potties and then you can get one ammo box here if it does spawn Next, you go to the little gas station house area over here. Go ahead and loot the chest on the back of that truck. Build up one tile to go to this roof. Break into the roof and you will get the chest right here. And with the new chapter out, if you guys did not know, chests are 100% spawn rate, so you will always be getting the chest unless it is looted already. Ammo boxes are not 100% spawn rates, however, they do spawn quite a bit. So you can get two ammo boxes out of this building as well as two chests, um, plus the one outside. After you go ahead and do that, you can go over to the agency if it is not looted already. Most of the times it's looted and there'll be some, some players still hanging around. In my sake, it actually wasn't looted in one of my games, so I got this footage. Um, it was in the first clip that I showed you guys of me actually looting in game. I got very lucky uh, where Midas was actually just chilling on the edge of the land. I thought it was a real player, but turns out it was Midas. Um, get the card or you know shake up some of the enemies like this um, just to get some extra XP. Um, and if you do get the card and then just go open the vault, um, I wouldn't really worry about what's in the vault unless you really need the, the supplies. I just opened it to get the XP. And then that is about it. So this was an in-depth tutorial on what you guys can actually do. In Avery's video, he just showed the, um, you know, how to loot the grotto area. So I kind of showed that as well as, you know, my own personal little touch, like a looting route you can go afterwards. Um, a lot of the people from the grotto will launch like do the little launch area where it will make you fly they'll use that and they'll just go to circle or wherever they need to go sometimes they'll go retail dirty docks they'll go different directions but if you do want to get the most xp out of your game i recommend going the route that i take personally um so i came up with this like on my own i didn't come up with the grotto part like i said but the other looting part looting routes i did come up with on my own um so um, yeah, that's why I am crediting the only source that I did take the first bit from, which is Avery. But I kind of, you know, twisted it up and turned it into, you know, my own XP method. So I did want to share it with you guys in a more in-depth tutorial where you guys can go afterwards to continue make, keeping it going. Because um, some people might just kill themselves and redo it over and over again. I don't think that's very, you know, fun because um, if you're just doing that like 10 games in a row it could get really boring so um, I recommend just playing the games out like I did so anyways guys thank you guys so much for watching this video if you guys did enjoy please make sure to drop a like if it helped you out in any way maybe share it to a friend also guys if you guys are new to my channel please hit the subscribe button turn on post notifications so you guys will never miss another one of my videos also guys if you do want to support me for free, you can use my creator code on Fortnite. It's my YouTube channel named Fireo, F-Y-R-E-O. Anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. And don't forget to keep slaying.